this is how we're going to get a nice walk instead of a low grade uh, current day lazy in quotations animator uh, mirroring walk okay look what's happening to the pelvis pelvic box we can see the underside here okay and it's rotating and f going the other way with now this side is exposed on the rear as this leg has moved in front and uh, now this side is exposed to us and that that has swung around the other way because for the obvious reason now this leg is making front contact okay so like this here like that and one thing that i'm going to stress to you once we've finished um drawing this so are you gonna join the library okay is um let's just do the rear leg now on this side so we we have that turning and changing this side okay with the rear leg making hair like that and as with the amb stick man now we're 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 not doing this kind of guide we're, you know, we're not babies anymore, but we're, you know, still you really shouldn't animate a qu any walk cycle in this segmented way when you really know how to animate. Uh, okay, but for teaching purposes, you're learning in this broken way so you can understand, okay? So we should be doing the whole uh, animal together when we're confident animators, okay? Um, but, okay... Notice how there's a little bit of uh, difference in the ground height between this leg and this leg. So similarly, we go here, there's a little bit of difference in the ground height. So just to have that illusion of forwards and backwards legs. So if these were straight legs, okay, it's more or less halfway in between, okay? Uh, the legs more or less halfway in between for the passing position okay now more importantly we need to look at what this pelvis is doing so I'm gonna turn off the light box and we're gonna watch what's happening okay now as with our human walk the pass position is a complete facing in profile so all of these little perspective areas here like here here and here and here here and here they are no longer with us okay because we are look at that turning of the pelvic box okay so if we just put our little uh acetabulum socket there like that okay and um if we look we can see that it's coming up ever so slightly okay um it's more swinging up at the back okay but if we look at the actual height of the pelvis there's a little bit of an uprise there okay so we're coming up and there. Very important that you understand that. There's going to be the down pose here. And this is going to be the lift pose. And this is going to be... Okay, so now this is intermediate stuff here. So if you're getting lost... Um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, this is uh, intermediate training. Okay. So this is our contact. This is going to be where the foot is on our down. This is where the foot is on our lift okay two-thirds of the way okay and then we have our foot here on the passing position here like that so two-thirds spacing okay two-thirds spacing on this foot just so you know that now look what's happening with the pelvis if we want to look at this pelvis and this pelvis okay common sense would have it common sense would have it okay to turn on the light box and go, yeah, there, yeah, it's going to be another half, to put another half in there, yeah, this animation lock, it's easy, mate, it's easy, you just put it in half like that, yeah, yeah it goes, go, go, goes half there, yeah, it just goes half, half up, there, yeah, like that, yeah, 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 but that's not, that's not good enough, okay, that's, that's not really going to give it anything, give it any weight, okay, we need to, we need to ha have a transition, okay? So watch what I'm going to do here. And this is counterintuitive to some of you, like our friend who was just saying, yeah, yeah, okay? Um, because it's going to add a little kind of jerk to the movement, okay? Now look at the pelvis, okay? 
it's now swinging down and then swinging up but it's like turning like turning down and coming up on itself okay um, and we're losing some of the top so look at this shape okay we've got this much hair we've got a lot hair okay and we've got a little bit more hair so what's counterintuitive is, is you'd think if you wanted to break it down okay you'd kind of have a little bit in between you know to keep it constant okay but no we're losing some of the top view of that so we're just getting this okay and now we're seeing it again okay which is really gonna add some real kind of weighted flair because that's what's going to really help your quadruped walks really boss over other people's quadruped walks and while many of you say that you're not interested in being the boss privately i know you want it to boss other people's animation okay because you want it to be the best you can okay and you're going to boss over these little sliding shape sliders and rig cut out people because you're going to be using the power of traditional hand drawn and even if you're a shape slider you can apply this and boss over your other shape slider com compadres okay right so um so that's the thing that you really need to understand in the pelvic box okay um kind of sums it up that's my main uh sum up we've covered we've done everything step by step just on the uh on the rear section of this uh, quadruped walk, okay? Um, and you've explained, you know, we've covered, a, a, we've gone on for almost, a, probably an hour now, just focusing on the hind section of a quadruped. What I call, even though this is an intermediate lecture, this is the first quadruped lecture in real animator training, and yes, I call it a basic quadruped walk okay um, so those are the basics that you need to learn when animating a quadruped walk what you're going to be doing next uh, in the next uh, session is you are going to be doing the front legs uh, to essentially you can see then we're going to time it out do the head okay so we're going to have another lecture on the front legs we're going to have another lecture on the head and the ear we're going to then have a lecture on putting it all together because when we put it all together those up downs lifts all suddenly change okay so we can't you know it's more complicated than doing a human because when we put it all together we now have going to have to have two kinds of ups and downs and two kinds of so how are we going to marry all those things so um you have essentially been watching the first um video in my real animator training quadruped uh series so um amb is the greatest archive anyone could ever ask for you know of all the books i've read of all the other online tutorials i have seen this was the missing key every video is like packed with this information that I would never be able to get anywhere else. So I would say this this is the greatest resource for learning animation. For me, AMB Animation Library is hands down the best animation learning resource that I've seen. I've tried all the tutorials, I've gotten all the books, I've never been able to um, really grow until I found AMB. And it's incredible. I've only just begun it, but like, I definitely am getting more from that than I did from my one and a half years of college. I've noticed definitely that my animation has improved a lot, and it's more alive than ever.